Uh, good morning, everyone. This is Andrew Crenn here with the Weather Service in Raleigh, North Carolina, here for your routine uh, Monday weekly briefing that we'll basically cover today through Sunday, September 29th. So we got a lot to discuss, so let's go ahead and get in it. All right, so here's the upcoming weather pattern for Central North Carolina through the week. Um, so today, you probably noticed that there were some clouds around this morning. That is tied to actually a backdoor front that moved through uh, overnight last night. And it's kind of right now in South Carolina, and there's a lot of cloud cover that still is lingering to the north of the boundary. And that boundary is going to slowly edge back to the north over the next couple days, kind of into midweek as a warm front. And as that happens, we'll have um, some disturbances moving aloft, and that will bring that chance for daily scattered showers and storms, um, you know, into today, tomorrow, and parts of Wednesday. Um, we do have um, also to talk of a tropical system that is developing in the Gulf of Mexico. Um, the Hurricane Center um, has now named it potential tropical cyclone nine, and that is forecast to interact with a trough over the midsection of the country uh, later this week. And how they interact is going to play a large role in where it ends up uh, making landfall and potentially impacting our area. So its track is still uncertain, but it does pose a risk over us of some gusty winds, heavy rain uh, Thursday into Saturday, which could perhaps last into the weekend, depending on, again, where it makes landfall. Temperatures through the week are going to be roughly near to slightly above normal. I think our warmest day is gonna be Wednesday and Thursday in the low to mid eighties, and potentially our coolest days kind of over the weekend where we have that uh, rain chance. So here's our accumulated precipitation forecast for the next five days, and we have a seven day total um, as well. So today and tomorrow, again, you can see we're gonna have um, that scattered shower and storm chance. Um, today and tomorrow, primarily the highest rain rainfall totals expected to be across the western Piedmont um, into the triad and along the Virginia border. I think on Wednesday, as that front moves north, we still will have a chance for showers and storms, but I do think that we will start to dry out a little bit as we get high pressure starting to build in from the Atlantic. Um, and then by late Thursday and into Friday, that's kind of when right now we're seeing most of the guidance showing that that tropical system could influence influence us and bring us heavy rainfall. Seven day totals um, could certainly vary widely. So this is probably going to change um, what rainfall amounts right now could exceed two inches um, across the western Piedmont with lower amounts, maybe up to a quarter to half an inch kind of towards the northeast part of the state uh, over the northern coastal plain. Um, looking into our excessive rainfall outlook, right now we are outlooked for a marginal risk of some excessive rain across the western Piedmont um, today into early Tuesday. Um, we are not outlooked for anything tomorrow. However, there are some signals that we could see an additional heavy rainfall threat tomorrow that like likely looking like it's going to be focused across the triad in the northwest Piedmont into um, southwestern Virginia, but we'll have more information on that as we do our forecasts later today. Going into a severe thunderstorm outlook, um, we are just in general thunder today, um, but we do have a, a risk of some uh, damaging winds and large hail across the western Piedmont tomorrow afternoon and evening that will be along the stalled front as it moves north. Um, and then we just have general thunder on Wednesday. The rest of the week, um, right now, we are not outlooked from SBC. This is our experimental graphical hazardous weather outlook. Um, mainly focused, you can see um, where we have that severe risk on Tuesday, which is highlighted in green there for uh, wind and hail. Obviously we have um, lightning threat um, with the with that storm chance pretty much throughout the week as we have you know several systems impacting us um, as well as an excessive rainfall primarily today um, and potentially late in the week depending on where that tropical system makes landfall. 
So let's go into um, that tropical uh, system and also talk about some of the other things that are going on in the Atlantic. So this is currently the Hurricane Center's um, latest tropical weather outlook um, for the next seven days. Um, so some of the key messages to keep in mind, um, potential tropical cyclone nine. Right now, it's basically sitting over the Caribbean. Um, a tropical storm is likely to form within the next day or so as that um, cyclone moves to the north and northwest into the Gulf of Mexico. And then it is expected um, to potentially make landfall in the northeastern Gulf. And I'll discuss that in the next slide. Uh, but also we have another tropical wave that's over um, just to the west of Africa. And that is not forecast to pose a risk to the Carolinas. So I won't discuss that as much as the next, uh, uh, as expected, I mean, compared to Tropical Cyclone 9. So going into potential Tropical Cyclone 9, which could be Helene. Um, right now, here is the latest um, forecast um, and the um, advisory cone area. Um, so the disturbance is currently forecast to strengthen and be near hurricane strength as it gets into the northwestern Caribbean Sea Tuesday night. And it could be a major hurricane when it makes landfall over the northeastern Gulf Coast sometime Thursday. In terms of impacts for Central North Carolina, again, that's going to ultimately depend on how that system interacts with a trough over the midsection of the country, as well as ridging off the western, uh, off the coast of the Carolinas. But right now, based on its current uh, forecast track, we could have some gusty winds, heavy rain, perhaps also a tornado threat, depending on the eventual track and how it recurves back into the Tennessee Valley. And really, here's just basically showing a couple um, satellite animations. The graphic on the left is showing basically looking at the continental United States. And then the animation on the right is essentially looking at potential tropical cyclone nine, which um, is gonna be potentially moving into uh, making landfall across the Northeastern Gulf Coast. Um, I really just wanted to show this um, to show you that um, you know, what's the eventual track will depend on right now, if you can kind of see my cursor. Um, we've got a short wave that's essentially over um, uh, the central plains. And then there is another disturbance that's further to the northwest of that over portions of Montana. And these two uh, troughs are essentially going to merge in the middle part of the country. And that eventual um, track of that um, system is going to help to draw potential tropical cyclone nine further north as it moves into the gulf and then also we'll have ridging of high pressure um, off the coast of the carolinas and how those two systems interact will eventually play a role on where the system goes so you know we still have a lot of uncertainty to iron out over the next several days but um, we will certainly keep you abreast of any changes Going into the eight to 14 day temperature and precipitation outlook, we are favored to have above normal uh, temperatures, 40 to 50%, as well as above normal precipitation, although slightly lower probability of 30 to 40%. Actually right now our highs, our average highs have dipped into the upper 70s in most areas, except for Fayetteville, average high of 81. So we are starting to get into that fall season. Um, actually, yesterday was the fall equinox as well. All right, so weather summary. We have a stalled front across the area that's going to slowly make its way north as the warm front into Wednesday. And that lingering boundary is going to fa favor daily scattered showers and storms. Potential tropical cyclone 9 is forecast to interact with the trough over the midsection of the country late in the week and it will pose a risk over us of gusty winds, heavy rainfall, potentially a tornado threat as well, late Thursday into Saturday. Um, that forecast is likely to change as we get better guidance through the week. And then temperatures will be near to slightly above normal in the mid, mid 70s to mid 80s, warmest Wednesday and Thursday in the low to mid 80s. 
hazards and impacts. Right now we have a marginal risk of severe storms tomorrow afternoon and evening across the western and southern Piedmont where damaging winds and large hail are the primary threat. And we have a threat of some excessive rainfall both today and potentially tomorrow as well. And then depending on what happens with the um, tropical system, again, we could have some gusty winds and heavy rainfall. Right now it's track is too uncertain to focus on any specific impacts, but we will certainly keep you up to date as we go through the week.